Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we are going to put the Nebula class up against the Ambassador class. Now this was requested by somebody and I'm always happy to do Nebula class battles. I love the Nebula class. So yeah, here we go. Now I'm thinking, obviously the Nebula class has a technological advantage, but the Ambassador class was a flagship so it stands to reason that that would have been the most powerful or the most powerful ship of its time, where the Nebula class isn't the most powerful ship of its time. So who knows? This could go either way, in my opinion. We shall see. But we can spam torpedoes out like that. If you're a fan of the Nebula class, um, there's a YouTube channel called Certifiably In Game, which somebody pointed me to, and he's actually just done a, a video about the Nebula class, analysing it all. It's really cool, so check it out if you're a fan of Nebulas. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Okay. Now the um, it's funny because the Nebula class is always seen as like the weaker ship, like oh it's just a science ship, but in the next generation it really proved itself. It went up against uh, the Cardassians that time, didn't it? Destroyed the Cardassian galore. And they used it, they used the sensor array version against the Romulan fleet that time, that was cool. I don't think the saucer section on the Nebula is as big as the Galaxy class is. It's, it's definitely a smaller ship. Maybe it's easier to produce them. Like maybe they can make them faster, perhaps. Also, they sent a Nebula class after the Prometheus, didn't they? I remember that. They really liked that ship, didn't they? The uh, creators of Star Trek. They always like showing it. I'm trying to disable the shield generator. So yeah, this battle so far is going about how I expected. It's, it's relatively even. We might get a good shot here. Man! Alright, well we're making some progress on the shield generator, but we're taking some damage here. Problem is, our forward and aft shield are really low. So that's where the torpedoes are located. Ah, yes, we've got the shield generator. Excellent. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Tractor beam right. disabled, Captain. Uh, the tractor beam's gone. Oh, yes. We've got them. Ooh, nice explosion. Right, so the Nebula class is victorious, and we've got a little bit of damage, just the tractor beam. Cool, well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.